giver of life, come and abide within us. Cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls of good one. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, good will towards men. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, good will towards men. O Lord, open thou my lips, and my mouth shall show forth thy praise. Forgive me, my brothers and sisters, and each other our sins and transgressions. <coughs> Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father. 
and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
Was it not all those who came out of Egypt through Moses? Brethren, we would not have you be ignorant concerning those who fall asleep, that you may not sorrow even as the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, those also who have fallen asleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say to you, by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not precede those who are fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who remain, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we shall always be with the Lord. Peace be unto you, reader. Son also to have life in himself, and has 
given him authority to execute judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming when all who are, who are in the graves will hear the voice of the Son of God and will come forth. <laughs> those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. I can of myself do nothing as I hear I judge, and my judgment is just, because I seek not my own will, but the will of the Father who sent me. that have been 
part of this life. So this morning, as we pray for them, as we mention them by name uh, in the various litanies, uh, as we pray for them, let each of us continue to ask God for His grace, so that having His grace within us, we may always strive to live as His faithful disciples each day. Let's say with all our soul, with all our mind, let us say. Lord Almighty God of our fathers, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our metropolitan, his beatitude, keep God, our Archbishop, his eminence, Nathaniel, for our priests, deacons, and all clergy, and all our brethren, in Christ. <laughs> We pray for the president of our country, for all civil authorities, and for our armed forces everywhere. Again, we pray for our Abbess Mother Christophora and the sister of this holy monastery for their health and salvation. We pray for the blessed and ever member holy orthodox patriarchs and for the blessed and ever member founders of this holy house and for all our fathers and brethren the orthodox departed this life before us especially the newly departed servants of god the archpriest paul the priest matthew matushka milbrook anna anna michael dana jillian maria angela eon Kioski, Martha, Becky, Eli, Jane, Beverly, Edward, Demetrius, and Teresa, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, the sisterhood of this holy monastery and all the faithful gathered here this day, and especially for the servants of God, Brother Presbyter Thomas, the Archpriest Alexander, the Archpriest Andrew, the Archpriest John, the Priest Edward, and the servants of God, John, Pearl, Rachel, Stella, Claudia, Kira, Constantine, Marie, Maureen, Michelle, John, Anna, John, and Gus, for the pardon and remission of their sins. And this morning we pray especially for our suffering brothers and sisters in, in Ukraine, Iraq, and Syria for their safety, health, and salvation. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who await thy great and rich mercy. O Lord, our God, accept the purpose of the kitchen of the servants. Have mercy on us according to the multitude of thy mercy. Send down thy bounties upon us and upon all thy people. Await the rich mercy that comes from thee. Lord, thou art a merciful God who lovest mankind. And unto thee we ascribe glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great goodness. We pray thee, hearken and have mercy.
spirits of all flesh, who has trembled now and has been overthrown the devil and given life to your world. Do thou the same, Lord, give rest to the souls of the newly departed servants, the archpriest Paul, the priest Matthew, Matushka, Mildred, Anna, Anna, Michael, Dana, Jillian, Maria, Angela, Ion, Kioski, Martha, Becky, Eli, Jane, Beverly, Edward, Demetrius, Teresa, and all those who have departed this life. In a place of brightness, a place of refreshment, a place of repose, where all sickness, sighing, and sorrow have fled away, pardon every transgression which they may have committed, whether by word, deed, or thought. For thou art a good God and lovest mankind, because there is no man who lives yet does not sin. For thou only art thou sin, thy righteousness is unto all eternity, and thy word is true. For thou art the resurrection of life, and, and, the, and the repose of all thy departed servants who have fallen asleep, O Christ our God, and unto thee may ascribe glory. Together with thy Father, who is from everlasting, and that all holy good is thy creating spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Praise the Lord, you catechumens. This is a faithful prayer for the catechumens that the Lord will have mercy on them. That he may teach them the word of truth. That he may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness. Oh, mercy. That he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic church. Oh, mercy. Help them, save them, have mercy on them, and keep them, O oh God, by thy grace. Bow oh, your heads unto the Lord, you gather your mouth. salvation of the race of men, and only begotten Son of our God, Lord Jesus Christ. Look down upon thy servants and gathered humans, who have bowed their necks before thee. Make them worthy in due time of the battle of regeneration, the remission of sins, the robe of corruption. Unite them to thy holy Catholic and apostolic church, and number them to thy chosen flock. Death with us to make glorified in all honorable majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Let us the faithful again and again in peace pray unto the Lord. Mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Mercy. We thank the Lord that our patience found us worthy to stand even now before the holy altar and fall down before the compassion and for the sins and errors of all thy people. Enable us also in thy place in this thy service by the power of thy Holy Spirit, blamelessly without offense. In the pure witness of our promise to call upon thee at all times and every place, that hearing us thou mayest be merciful to us, according to the multitude of thy great goodness. Wisdom, for unto thee are due all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Again, all times we fall down before thee, O God, and most mankind, but looking down upon our petition, that will cleanse our soul and body from all the defilement of the flesh and spirit. Grant us to stand blameless without condemnation before the holy altar. Grant also unto all those who pray with us, O God, growth in life and faith and spiritual understanding. Grant them to worship thee blamelessly with fear and love, and to partake without condemnation of thy holy mysteries, and to be accounted worthy of thy heavenly kingdom. Wisdom, that guard always by thy might, we may ascribe glory unto thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. No one who is bound with his own <coughs> flesh or flesh is worthy to approach, or draw near, or serve thee, O King of glory. To minister unto thee is great and awesome, even for the heavenly powers. Nevertheless, do not speak for the mouths of command, and has become man, yet not change our works and operations. And as the Lord of God has become our high priest, and has perpetualized the ministry of the liturgical and public sacrifice, for thou alone, O Lord, and thou rulest over all things, who are born of the throne of the cherubim.
that our sacrifice may be acceptable unto thee, that the good spirit of thy grace may dwell upon us and upon the gifts here offered, and upon all thy people. Through the compassion of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy, good, and life breathing spirit, God, now and ever and unto ages of ages. This is my body which is broken for you. 
for the remission of
believe also that this is truly thy own most pure body, and that this is truly thy own precious blood. Therefore I pray thee, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, both voluntary and involuntary, of word and of deed, committed in knowledge and ignorance, and make me worthy to partake without condemnation of thy most pure mysteries, for the remission of my sins, and unto life everlasting. With faith, love, and the fear of God, draw
faithful and blessed. Thy inheritance preserve the fullness of thy church. Sanctify those who love the beauty of thy house, glorify them and return by thy divine power. Forsake us not who put our hope in thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to thy priests, to all those in civil authority, and to all thy people. For every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from thee, the Father of lights, and unto thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit of God, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
servants, all, all those who have fallen asleep, whom we remember on this day, in a place of light, a place of a great pasture, a place of rest from where pain, sorrow, and sighing have been driven away. Forgive them every transgression committed in word, in deed, or in thought. For you are good, O God, and the lover of mankind. For there is no man born who does not transgress. And you alone are without sin. Your righteousness is eternal, and your word is true. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants. All the faithful departed, whom we remember on this day, O Christ our God. And unto you we offer of glory, together with your Father, which from everlasting, and your holy, good, and life created spirit, us, now and ever and unto ages of ages.
those who have departed service and may their memory forever be to Is unceasing and glad to those 